everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hello, Emma. Oh, oops. Sorry, Auntie, didn't see you there. Emma, did I just see you picking your nose? Oh, um, yeah, Auntie, I just can't help it sometimes. Auntie, why do we get so many boogers? Good question, Emma. Well, to understand boogers, we first have to take a closer look into our nose and the respiratory tract. Great, Auntie, let's do it. So, when we breathe in, air goes into our mouth and our nose. The problem with air is that it not only contains important chemicals we need to live, but it also can contain things that we don't need, like pollen, dust, and also germs like bacteria and viruses. Oh no, Auntie, how do we stop those? Don't worry, Emma, our body is very smart. Inside our respiratory tract, we make something called mucus. Mucus is a sticky, slimy substance made up in our nose, lungs, and even our digestive tract. It is very important because it is so sticky that it's the perfect trap for all those unwanted particles in the air. Think about stepping in a big pile of slime. What would happen, Emma? Well, I would get stuck, Auntie. Exactly. Which is what happens to the bad particles. Something interesting is that our body produces about one liter of mucus every day. That's enough to fill a half a carton of milk. Wow, Auntie, that's a lot of mucus. Yep. So when we breathe in air, dust, pollen, bacteria, and viruses come with it. And one of the first stops in our body is our nose. The air that goes into our nose is filtered by little nose hairs called... Do you remember, Emma, from our previous talk about the respiratory tract? Hmm, cilia, Auntie. Yes, cilia. So what happens is mucus is made in our nose, and once air is breathed in, the cilia hairs and mucus combination act as a big old trap, making small dust, pollen, bacteria, and viruses get stuck, forming a big old ball called a booger. <laughs> Yuck, Auntie. So some boogers can be wet and sticky, while others will dry up over time. And when you stick your finger in your nose, you will find a clump of boogers. Actually, Emma, having boogers is a good thing. It means your body is working extra hard to fight off unwanted things from the air and keep our bodies healthy. Great, Auntie! Who knew something so gross can be so useful? And when we're sick with certain infections, like a cold or the flu, we have even more boogers because our immune system is fighting off all those menal bacteria and viruses, which creates more and more mucus, which creates more and more boogers. So, Auntie, there are actual bacteria and viruses in my boogers? Yes, Emma. So that is why it's so important not to pick our nose, as those boogers can carry different sources of infection. And we wouldn't want to pick our nose and then, let's say, touch our mouth. I mean, then we may accidentally get the virus or bacteria in our mouth. Oh no, Auntie! And also, we don't want to pick our nose and then touch other people like our parents or our friends. Then we could get them sick. Oh, that's true, Auntie. I never thought of that. Okay, I guess I better be careful about picking my nose from now on. Well, Emma, next time you feel a pesky booger, just grab a tissue and blow your nose. Then out comes those pesky old boogers. And then we keep our hands clean. Easy peasy. <laughs> Got it, Auntie. Boogie oogie boogers. Almost sounds like a song that I can boogie to. Hmm, great idea, Emma. Let's do the boogie oogie dance song. Boogie. 
boogie dance. Boogie, 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 booger dance. And it goes in, goes in through. a good idea. Let's go. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.